Hey everybody, Seth V for the Knife Center here with Andrew Doe from Riot. Good from to Riyadh. see you. Good to see you. Thanks for joining me on camera. We're going to talk about a couple knives here real quick. Uh, first, I'm going to hold up the T1000. This is not technically new, yes, yeah. but these came and went so fast yeah. off our shelves that we hardly even got a chance to talk about yeah. them. Yeah. Um, this thing is a beast. Tell me about what makes this knife so special. So what this knife does is it has these two buttons here that when it's not it's pressed in, this will turn this knife into a fixed blade. Mm -hmm. So when you push on the spines here and it opens up. Kind of spreads those pins open. Yes, and then this will be a normal trim lock. Very cool. The, the scale of this knife is hard to communicate without holding it. It's heavy, it's ultra wide, and it's very, uh, uh, Intentionally over designed. Yes. You think that's fair yes. to say? Yeah. yeah. So you can see as you, uh, you engage these pins, you sort of push them in to lock the blade in place and then open it up again by pushing the uh, backspacer up. And you can unlock it like a normal frame lock. Yeah. Crazy cool knife. I believe you did these in 3V? 3V, yeah, correct. Okay, nice. So this is the new T6000. You hold that one, I'll hold this one. This is slightly smaller in terms of length, but no less beefy. This thing is still a beast. Super chunky handle, different blade shape, a little bit more of a uh, modified sheep's modified. foot thing going on. And it feels to me like the pins on this have a little more of a button, like a click. They kind of click into click, place. Click. Same yeah. function, but then also, again, that one we push, it's the same function, very long. Cool. Yeah, this system is super fun. Uh, do you know the retail price on these? They're about 500 for the basic, and then with the Zilker tie, it'll be a little bit higher. Okay, cool. Starting at 500. Yeah, these are are just crazy. Super cool collector's items for sure. Which definitely brings us to our next product, which is a whole different product segment entirely. Really, this is a much much more affordable design. Right. The most affordable Riyadh I can yes. even remember. Um, this is your new Pivot Lock series. Your pivot Lock series. Uh, what's the name of this one? This is the, actually I'm gonna grab the baby, which is a little bit smaller, uh -huh. right? So this is the PLXT for thumb stud. Okay. It's a little bit smaller. PL Pivot Lock. The T for thumb stud, this is the PLF. F for flipper. Uh, so this is start about 117. 117, nice. This is 127. And these have Nitro V steel, these kind of sculpted micarta handles, and the new pivot lock, which disengages simply by pressing on the pivot. So it's kind of like, kind of, it feels like a, a button lock. I don't know how it operates yes. on the inside, but it works every bit like a button lock. And there's even a secondary safety that you can it's, engage. It's, oh, wait, it's open. lock on open. Okay, to uh, give you some extra security in the open position, which is, uh, which is nice for a button lock, because then you can freely use it in a pinch grip, you know, get your hands all over this thing and not worry about the blade disengaging at all. Really cool to see a uh, newly affordable design from yes. you guys. And this comes in a ton of I'll variants. I'll, I'll just hold up a couple here. Here it is with a thumb stud in JG10. Got it with um, black canvas. Comes in flippers, thumb studs. And um, that design, if you wouldn't mind grabbing one of those. This is the, uh, the EDC version? The EDC version, so it's PLXE. PLXE, yeah. Super slicey, full flat ground blade with a nice kind of drop to it. Um, I can see this being good at like some kitchen the tasks. kitchen, yes. Yeah. And of course the, uh, the pivot lock works the same way. But look at that, you can even kind of, very cool, very fun design. Deep carry pocket clip. Uh, what's the price on this one? 127 also. 127. Very cool. So these we have the G10 and we have the Micata. It's a little bit different. Cool. Oh yeah. Nice milling on the handles there. Very comfortable ergonomics too. When uh, when do you think this will be landing? This will be Route Atlanta. Blade okay. Show. Blade Show. Sweet. Well, thanks for showing them, giving us a preview here. Thank you. Very excited about this. All right, well, that's all we have to take a look at today with Riyadh, but thanks for your time, Andrew. Thank you very much. It's a Thank pleasure you. to see you here. And uh, stay tuned for more SHOT Show coverage. We'll be coming at you with lots more videos. Take care.